Hey there guys, welcome back, Ricky here. Plate and stone I will use interchangeably in this video, so if I call a plate a stone, please forgive me. So what we have here is 140 Otoma plate, the 120 Shapton glass, and the 120 Shapton Pro. Now this category here is what I call ultra coarse, uh, very coarse or correcting stones. Stones that you use to reprofile knives with. Now the Otoma is not a whetstone, but I do use it for the same purposes as these two other stones here. It's very fast cutting. It's very aggressive. It's a stone that you can do a lot of things with. You can flatten stones with it. You can reprofile knives with it. You can thin knives out with it. So overall, a really fantastic piece of equipment. Uh, the only drawback is it does cost a lot of money. You can find them ranging from, I think, 80 bucks to as high as like 140, 150 in some cases. Um, peak season, I think these were up to like 160. Very useful if you want to do multiple things with it. The Shopton Glass 120. The 120 Shopton glass is not a bad stone it feels really nice it definitely is coarse but it's not coarse enough for my liking to be in this category here this stone here feels a lot more like a 200 to maybe 240 maybe even a 300 grit stone even though it is rated at 120 mesh or you know roughly 120 grit it's still too fine for me as a stone so i don't think that it's a great stone to purchase in this category here the feedback in the stone is great it does its job pretty well in terms of that department it's very flat and it's also very dense so I don't see the stone wearing out very quickly here uh, definitely wears out about half the speed or even maybe slower than that than the Shopton Pro 120 which I'll get to next um, overall it's a nice feeling stone but I just feel like it's not the right grit for this range here the Shopton Pro 120 is definitely a really nice stone it's definitely my favorite stone in this category here uh, it's very fast cutting it does load up as you can see here but the load up doesn't slow down this cutting speed at all uh, all of my knives within two passes, most of the time within one pass. Uh, two pass max will develop a burr on both sides. And also at the price, it's a very ag uh, aggressively priced. You usually find these for between 40 and 50 bucks. Uh, so overall, I say that if you want a stone for correcting your knives with, uh, reprofiling your knives, putting a new bevel on your knife, this is probably the best stone for that. So really in this pile here, the best whetstone, you know, uh, coarse whetstone is the 120. But if you wanted a stone that also can flatten whetstones with, the Otoma 140 would be that stone. So one thing to note though, the Shafton Pro does have one drawback and it does wear quite fast. And that's really the only negative I have to say about the stone. If you're using the stone, you really have to know what you're doing. Do not buy the stone just because you want to buy a coarse, you know, an ultra coarse stone to add to your collection. Only buy it and use it if you really need it. Don't use it to sharpen your knives with. Never hop on the stone to start a sharpening process on. If you have a very dull knife, hop on like a 320 or a 400 or 500 grit stone. Never hop on a 120 stone to start your sharpening process. I only use the 120 and the 140 grit stones for reprofiling, thinning, and flattening. Fixing chips, obviously. So unless you have one of those problems, do not hop on any of these stones here. One of the biggest goals for me is to come up with product um, that is usable not just for me but for my viewers. Um, there are a lot of things that I wish I could change about the knife world and lots of things that I, I really want done differently and this is one of them. Putting out really high quality straps at a much more affordable price than what I've been seeing on eBay and on Amazon. So these will all be available on my Etsy page which I, which I will leave linked in the video description. 